In the fields of southern Tennessee, it's sunny skies now. Ready? Yeah. Okay. But this team, led by atmospheric scientist Karen Kosiba, is preparing for the storm. Essentially, the goal is to put yourself right in the path of these storms. Yeah, uh, Parallels really is trying to get right in the path of these storms. We're trying to get slightly ahead of them. Meet the Perils Project. I can see that from here. A unit deploying radars, sensors, and scientists in storm after storm, all specifically to study tornadoes in the southeast, which researchers say are growing more frequent and more deadly. We're trying to understand better these storms, where they're going to produce tornadoes, what the environment looks like before these storms produce tornadoes, so we could better predict tornadoes in the southeast. Why are these storms so dangerous? These storms are dangerous for many reasons. Um, first of all, they can occur at off hours, so when people aren't prepared for tornadoes. Tornadoes like the ones that ravaged parts of Mississippi last month and just days ago tore through Arkansas and Tennessee. There's a high population density in the southeast, so these storms and these tornadoes have the potential to impact lots of towns or lots of people. Historically, the Great Plains is considered Tornado Alley, the area with the highest frequency of these storms. But that trend has started to shift. Research shows over the past four decades, there's been an increase in the number of tornadoes in the southeast. This was the fifth straight year that's produced a powerful EF4 tornado in the month of March, four of those in the southeast. Will this research help create more accurate forecasts? Yes, we really want to get better warnings out there, better predictability, and really make sure people could take the actions that they need to be in a safe place. Providing critical seconds that could save countless lives. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, St. Joseph, Tennessee. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.